Cuenca, Ecuador, the third largest city in Ecuador in the Andes Mountains. And I'm just gonna go on a little walk just to try to show a little bit of Cuenca. Looks like these girls are doing some photography or something. These are famous uh, landmarks, I guess you'd say. This is a pretty safe city. Uh, there's lots of police around, but you gotta be careful. I've already been approached by a few drunk guys, but I'm kind of used to it and uh, kind of know how to tell them off. I told them I was from Mexico. I'm like, yo soy de Mexico. And they started talking to me and all that kind of shit. But you gotta be careful because really they're just trying to scam you and try to get into the, your backpack where your valuables are. So you just gotta be careful. Beautiful city though. And the climate, my God, the climate here is awesome. I mean, if you like it like kind of cool, but I mean, it's warm, but like, you know, it's not hot. Beautiful breeze. Look at this architecture, it's great. So, anyway, there's a lot of Americans that live here. Well, not just Americans, I'm sure Europeans, Canadians, uh, you name it. I forget the number, I've heard 10,000, I'm not sure how accurate that is, but... I'm gonna uh, head down to the, like the square. It's really windy. I've got a windscreen on, a microphone, but... I don't know if that's gonna do any good because it's really windy. I've got a feeling it's gonna rain pretty soon. <laughs> You can see people kind of scurrying around. So, we'll see how long this lasts. So anyway, this uh, police woman, actually a couple of them, they come up to me and they're like, they're super kind and just like, hey, just be careful with your, you know, your backpack and uh, you might want to put it, you know, wear it in the front, which I do, normally I do when I think it's a, you know, possible dangerous situation. Or not dangerous, but you know, they might go into the back of your backpack, you know, looking. But, that's kind of almost impossible to do if you're recording. I mean, it's like a huge baby, you know, <laughs> carrying a huge baby in front of you, so. Okay, here's the park. I'm gonna cross when I can. They sell all kinds of crap here. Not crap, but, you know, this is a church. I'm gonna cross now. So you can see, see there's, here's the police here. So there's a lot of police protection. Which is nice because they know there's a lot of tourists here. So I'm just strolling through the park. This is the center. El Centro Historico de Cuenca. It reminds me of all that so many other parks I've seen. Mexico, Guatemala, clean, beautiful gardens, little fountain action going on. So I'm probably going to put this away pretty soon and try to get some pictures of uh, just pictures, actually. There's a tour bus also, you know, can, I, I don't know if it's one of those you can hop on and hop off, but that would be pretty cool. I'm not too into that, but if you are, it might be a good thing. This guy's singing La Bamba, I think. Another fountain. That's kind of a 
colorful building. Okay, I'm gonna end this right here. I'm just gonna cross through the park, that's all. Anyway, that's a little bit of Cuenca. Actually, let me see if I can get the view of those churches from here now that the sun's not so bright. Or, I don't know if they're churches, whatever they are, but the, you can see the blue tops. It's probably the most famous uh, picturesque photos that you see of Cuenca. Now they got a 22 milliliter lens on here, so hopefully you can see them there. But that's them. It's backward as well, but that's it. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm back in the center of uh, Cuenca. I'm gonna go up to some stairs to this cathedral. Supposedly there's an amazing view up there. I have no idea, but that's what I've been told, so we'll see. Okay, so I'm going up to the top of the cathedral where supposedly there's some good views. You have to pay $2 to get in. And uh, walking up these catacol stairs. Finally arrived. Yeah. If you can hear me breathing heavy. That's no lie. Wow. This is amazing. Oh my god. Mira la vista de aquí pues. Okay, this is Quito. It's windy up top here. Check that out. So there it is. The most iconic building in all of Cuenca. That's it, baby. I gotta get some pictures. Check that out. Shooting right into the sun. Yeah, time for some pictures. I'm at the top of Tori, which is a mirador, which is like a lookout. And the quick up. I'm in Cuenca, Ecuador. I'm at the Rio Tomebamba, and it's kind of cool. I just want to show that it goes, flows right through the city. And it's not like other rivers I've seen that go through cities, which are completely polluted and, you know, they're disgusting. This one looks pretty nice. And you can see that the water is actually flowing, which I think helps. It's not like it's static or stagnant. So that's that, Rio Tomebamba, Cuenca, Ecuador. Cuenca, Ecuador. I'm not gonna say anything, just record.
everyone. I am Quenta Ecuador. Just got done uh, shooting some video up at the top of a Mirador, which is like a lookout called Puri. And I've been here for about a week. I actually went to Guayaquil first to spend uh, New Year's with my daughter. And then I decided to come here. I actually used to live in Ecuador a long time ago, so. Um, but I never went to Cuenca, so I wanted to come see Cuenca. Anyway, so uh, I just ordered a chicken parm at an Italian restaurant, and I've had Ecuadorian food all day, so. Gracias. So, it felt like something different. Anyway, this place is great. I've been here once before. So anyway, Cuenca is, or used to be, I don't know if it still is, to be honest, it used to be a real popular, place for expats that come and live. I've been around to uh, the Centro, which is the Centro Historico, and I did see a few uh, in the main park, but uh, I didn't really see like as many as I thought I would. I think maybe it, it lost some of its luster. It used to be always rated number one place for uh, expats to uh, retire to. I'm talking like in 2000, uh, 2008, 2007, Always is ranked usually number one or number two, maybe behind Panama City. And, uh, but you know, times have changed, uh, things have changed. The situation in Venezuela hasn't helped at all because a lot of Venezuelans have, you know, come here and I feel bad for them because they're, they're just trying to survive. They need to feed their family and just do whatever they can to take, to, to live, to, to survive. So you can, you can see that here, uh, even in Cuenca. So, Obviously, that affects the job market for people that are actually Ecuadorian. They're not just Ecuador, Colombia, and Brazil. And uh, that's, those are the main places that they go. Some that are able to, you know, they have enough money and can afford it. They'll go to Spain, of course. That's it. So, signing off from Quito, Ecuador. I'm oh, sorry, not Quito. <laughs> Cuenca, Ecuador. Uh, have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Gracias. Sí, este, el picante tal vez está ahí. Ah, listo.